Well, hello everyone. Pastor Cindy here with Pop Up Prayer. Today we're praying with one of my favorites, St. Therese of Lisieux. She says, the good God does not need years to accomplish a work of love in a soul. One ray from God's heart can in an instant make a flower of God bloom for eternity. Therese became a Carmelite nun in her early teens. She had a special love of missions and longed to travel to Africa or to China to be a missionary. But due to her frail health, she was able to do a little more than pray and uh, write to missionaries. Of course, we know that praying and writing to missionaries is a great work, and she did it with great love. Therese uh, died uh, of tuberculosis at the tender age of 24 in total obscurity. However, after she died, her autobiography, The Story of a Soul, was published and it became a worldwide bestseller. Story of a Soul explained the spiritual path of love and selflessness. Uh, Therese's uh, philosophy was that what is important is not doing great works, but doing little things with the power of God's love. She believed that if we could maintain the right attitude, then there is nothing that we can't accomplish uh, for God's purpose. Therese loved flowers, and she saw herself as the little flower of Jesus. Uh, the little flower of Jesus who gave glory to God just by being her beautiful little self among all the flowers of God's garden of humanity. The life of Therese reminds me of Luke 12, 27. Look at the lilies and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet even Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. You know, I think that I love uh, St. Therese of Lisieux uh, so much because in her writings and in her life, I see that each and every person is created in the image of God and is worthy of our love and our respect. And uh, in her, I find that call to uh, open my heart to all people and always to treat everyone with dignity and respect. As a Christ follower, I think that is the way we are called. So I think that's why I love St. Therese so much. And uh, I just invite you now to pray with uh, St. Therese of Lisieux and me. Let us pray. Deepen your love in me, O Lord, that I may learn in my inmost heart how sweet it is to love, to be dissolved, and to plunge myself into your love. Let your love possess and raise me above myself with a fervor and wonder beyond imagination. Let me sing the song of your love. Let me follow you into the heights. Let my soul spend itself in your praise, rejoicing for love. Let me love you more than myself and myself only for your sake. Let me love others as your law commands. A prayer of St. Therese of Lisieux, written in the late 1800s.